C I E D N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled math magic book 4 textbook in mathematics for class 4 chapter 4 titled tick 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 part 1 now let's listen to chapter 4 Titled, Tick Tick Tick, page thirty-five. Chapter four, Tick Tick Tick. Pampush and Shazia were discussing whose home is farther from school. Here on page number thirty-five, there are two drawings given of Pampush and Shazia. They are discussing with each other. and there is also a small shop given here next to them shopkeeper is looking at them pampush says i have to walk for 5 minutes to reach school shazia says i just walk for 2 minutes to reach school pampush replies impossible Your home is farther from school. To which Shazia says, "But I checked my watch. I start for school at seven o'clock." There's a diagram given here of a clock. The clock is showing seven o'clock. The small hand of the clock is at seven. The bigger hand of the clock is at twelve. When I reach school the minute hand points at 2 There is another clock drawn here along with Shazia's diagram The small hand points a little away from 7 and the bigger hand which is also called the minute hand points at 2 So shouldn't it be 2 minutes past 7 or 7 hours 2 minutes Page number thirty-six. Pampush and Shazia continue talking. You are wrong. You reach school at seven ten. How? Can you see these thin lines between the numbers? Yes. So what? The minute hand moves across ten lines after twelve. So it is ten minutes past seven or seven ten. I start for school at seven. I reach at seven five. See, the minute hand moves across five lines. Practice time. One, three friends read time from a clock. Who is right? Here on page number thirty-six, there is a table given. This table is divided into four columns. In the first column, there are three clocks given, each showing different time. In the other columns, Chiku, Bitu, and Pinky is written. The time read by them is also given. In the first row, the clock shows. the minute hand at 12 and the small hand that is the hour hand at 3 according to chiku this time is 12 hours 3 minutes according to bitu this time is 12 hours 15 minutes and according to pinky this time is 3 hours 0 minutes in the second row Our hand is slightly ahead of five, and the minute hand is at seven. Time read by Chiku is seven twenty-five. By Bitu is five hours seven minutes, and by Pinky is five hours thirty-five minutes. In the third and the last row, the clock shows the hour hand a little ahead than seven. and the minute hand at 
The time read by Chiku is 3 hours 35 minutes. The time read by Bittu is 7 hours 3 minutes. And the time read by Pinky is 7 hours 15 minutes. Page number 37. Question 2. Mark these times in the clock. Here on page number 37, there are six different clocks given. Along with them, time has also been written. You have to mark minutes and hours hand in these clocks. Do you like to observe the sky? If yes, then this one should interest you. A. At what time does the sun rise at your place? Dash. There is a clock given here on page number 37 to write your answer. You have to mark minute and hours hand to mark the sunrise time at your place. B. When does the sun set? Dash. There is a clock given here on page number 37. You have to mark the time. When does the sun set? Here in this clock, the hours and the minutes hands are missing. You have to draw them and mark the time of the setting of the sun. Does the sun rise and set at the same times every day? Observe the newspaper and mark the time of sunrise and sunset in different months. Page number 38. Observe the photo and guess the time at this place. There is a picture given here on page number 38. This picture is of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, which is the capital of the country of France. You have to observe the photo and give a guess of what time is it. This photo was taken in Paris, France. In Paris, the sun sets after 9 p.m. at night during summer. This photo was taken at night. But in winter, it becomes dark here by 4 p.m. in the evening. Question 3. Find out. How long will it take the minute hand to move from... In part A of this question, two clocks have been drawn. In the first clock, the minute hand is at 7. In the second clock of this part, the minute hand goes from 7 to 10. You have to find out how long will it take for the minute hand to move from 7 to 10. Part B there are also two clocks given here. The first clock is a striking 340 and the second one is a striking 4. You have to observe how much time it is taking to move from first to the other. In part C of question 3, the minute hands of the first clock is at 1. The minute hands of the second clock is at 3. You have to find out how long will it take for the minute hand to move from 1 to 3. In the D section, there are also two clocks given here. In the first one, the hour hand is at 7 and the minute hand is at 2. In the next one, the hour hand is at 8 and the minute hand is at 9. You have to follow the same process to identify how much time does it take to move from one to the other. Page number 39 Draw where the hands will be. In this question, there are four different parts given. With each of the part, there is a blank clock given without any hour or minute hand. You have to draw where the hands will be, according to the time mentioned here. The time mentioned in the first part is A. 20 minutes after 6 o'clock B. 
30 minutes after 8 o'clock. C. 10 minutes after 7 o'clock. D. 15 minutes after 5 o'clock. How long does your school assembly take? Dash. How long is your lunch break? Dash. How long is your games period? Dash. Is it the same as all the other periods? Dash. There are two diagrams given here on page number 39. In the first diagram, some children are playing in the playground of their school. They are wearing the same uniform and they are playing with a black and white ball. Also, there are some children who are having their lunch. In the next diagram, some students are there studying from their notebooks while sitting on their own desks. There is a talking bubble given here, which reads, The games period and lunch break seem very short, aren't they? Page number 40 On page number 40, the first question reads, How many minutes can these activities take? Make a guess and then check at home. There are three activities given here. The diagrams that are given here are Boiling one litre milk dash Filling a bucket dash Sweeping your room dash You were just listening to chapter number 4 Part 1 Titled Tick 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 Voiceover Artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav. Sound Recordists Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Assistance in Production by Shanu Muksim and Kusum Lata. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book was presented to you by CIET. NCERT, New Delhi, India.